Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Hogwarts Legacy. Um, off screen I did do quite a few things, so let's run through those real quick. First and foremost, I went on a massive um, creature catching uh, campaign. Um, I have fully upgraded all my gear for um, the challenges. I've caught at least 30 beasts, so I have some pretty good stuff now. Um, I'm currently working on breeding unique monsters. This is um, Shinies. Um, I have been able to collect a male and female variant of each of the species currently here, as well as getting two Shinies for a few of them. I actually have a, a, male, a shiny male and female uh, pusky. Very easy to get. Um, I should actually technically have a male and female shiny Thestral. Um, the fowl is still growing. Don't have a shiny unicorn. Ha I have a shiny mooncalf. I have a unique Niffler. Um, unique uh, Dodo. And a shiny Hippogriff. As well as um, an Ebony and a... I'll buy no hippogriff, so yay. Um, let's see here. Gear is currently all in the legendary tier. I have upgraded them all to level two. Um, I need Phoenix Feathers to upgrade to level three. But I have put them I have started working on uh, builds. So we have Ancient Magic 3, significantly increases damage of all ancient spells. And the rest are a mixture of Unforgivable 3, which any creature that is cursed deal is dealt significantly more damage. A lot of my abilities deal curse, so. And Destruction 3 significantly increases damage of Configura. Configura, whatever it's called. So a lot of my stuff is just you're cursed, I'm gonna set you on fire, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> um I have gotten pretty much all the side quests that I want to get done done. Um, the ones that remain are stuff that are either interesting or I just forgot to do before I recording. Because I wanted to record. But I did do all the side quests down in the southern part of the map. So, yay. Um, one of the things that's storyline relevant is over here, I had a quest to go kill a, or to go to, um, subdue, I guess. One of, um, Brookwood's, uh, lieutenants, or lieutenants. And, uh, that was, a, that was a fun fight. What was cool, though, is I got a uh, treasure map during one of the missions. And it was a, um, a bell tower. Uh, I had to go over here, I think it was, to do it. And basically, I had to ring bells in a specific order to create a song. And doing so will give me a uh, item in, uh, in return. It was Hedwood's, Hedwood's theme. It's so good. Um, I did get another thing done that gave me a new skill, or not a new skill, a new outfit, and that is the Treasure Seeker's Attire. Again, I found another one during a quest, went and got it, so yeah, this is currently my winter outfit. I like it. Alright then, with that being said, um, I'm going to put this out quickly. This quest unlocked. This is actually kind of important. Um... This quest is causing a bit of a controversy in the gaming uh, sphere who's actually playing the games. Um, this is the start of a PlayStation exclusive quest. If you have PlayStation, you can play this uh, quest. If you're on PC or Xbox, you can't play this quest. So if you are on PC or on Xbox and watching, welcome. I, uh, I'm sorry, this is complete and total bullshit. I agree with you. Um, I am in the camp of, there. I don't mind timed exclusivity, but there shouldn't be console exclusives. You shouldn't have, you can only get this here. With the sole exception, because I think Kingdom Hearts, did, Kingdom Hearts 3 did this well, of uh, unique variants of the same thing. Um, Xbox, PC, and PlayStation uh, players would get a DLC Keyblade that is unique to their console. That I don't mind, because it's the same thing, just repping your console. And I don't mind a little, you know, fun banter here and there. But, 
full on quests, full on games, there really shouldn't be exclusive. It's it it it's just bullshit in my opinion. Either way, let's go check out this quest. Um, this should take about an hour to do, so we should be able to finish this in this set. I'm getting more cozy than Hogsmeade. All right, let's go. Hello. Oh, pardon me. What's up, Penny? Hello there. Was there something you needed? Hello. I was wondering if you would be interested in having your own shop and a house elf to help you with it. Penny's the name. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start working with the new owner. It might surprise you to know that Penny can sell practically anything. Oh, it would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and someone to help me. You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up and running. If you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon as you can. Her name is Cassandra Mason. Why is your mistress selling the shop? And you? Mm, Penny cannot be certain, as Mistress Mason so rarely confides in her. Mm, however, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. <sighs> Are you all right? Are you holding your breath? <sighs> Penny's fine. Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop talking. All right, I shall go and find Madame Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. Hmm, awkward. <laughs> um, if we do get Penny as a uh, house elf, I'm going to treat her like, you know, a household spirit, you know, that type of thing. I mentioned it before about how I believe that was the inspiration, but I don't know for certain. I don't like the idea of how they're treated in the series. It's kind of fucked. Alright, let's go. I wonder if we can free Penny. That'd be kind of cool. You also need 1,500 to actually buy the place, so... Luckily I'm rich. Hello, Madam Mason? I understand you have a shop to sell. Yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvelous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm, an exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Ha! Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favor of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. Yes, an unsuccessful shop would be bad for nearby businesses, I'd imagine. Quick one, you are. Do we have a deal? What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. But, as it implied, 
the odds of that happening are remote. The shop seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shop ready for business and ensuring its success. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. Hello again. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money, and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organized, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. Penny will meet you there. Yeah, she's not shady at all. <laughs> I really hope we can uh, free Penny in some way. I know they're kind of Stockholmed into it, but yeah. Oh, now looks better. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Oh, Lord. All right, repair her. Where you at? Alright. I'm really curious what type of things we can sell. I was gonna ask Penny, but I forgot. Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <sighs> Are you holding your breath again? Penny must get back to work now. Just tell me, jeez. Alright, so what's the catch? Oh, let me guess. It holds a poltergeist, doesn't it? Let's find out! Okay, that's interesting. It's like Newt's, um, bag.
Alex. Revelio. Who's in here, then? God, I love that glow on my robes. That's ominous. Now what's this? Why would someone store one hat in here? I'm serious. Claire, not all those goblins. Alright. Oh, that's not very hospitable. Oh, oh god! You seem to have your wits about you. What fun this will be. The studio. Alright. You. Onwards, I suppose. All right. What in it's a poltergeist. Lovely. That are the ghost of her husband. No. <laughs> All right. Lumos. Lumos. That's kind of creepy. Lovely. Lumos. I see a few things. Hmm. What's that? Seems as if I should hang something there. Lanterns. Come here. Alright. How enlightening! Thank you! Hmm, you might survive a bit in the other. Ah, lovely. Lumos. So, Kadagan? What are you doing here, buddy? That's pretty. Oh, you've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it. If you make it out, that is. Please try. If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. Interesting. What's the saying? Two sides to every story. Rebellion. Uh, oh, what's well, the for you? Both of you my story. And you'll have to complete both to get to the end. Rebellion. Okay. Confringo. I'm actually really curious about this guy. I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? I like it. Rebellion. You know, foliage. Like most living things, won't survive for long in the darkness. Confringo. Come on. There we go. Revelio. Confringo. That's... I wonder if I need to place lanterns to open these doors. 
So probably. Jeez. I would have like Tinder. I keep playing out those cobwebs. Anything around me? Alright, what's in here? Oh! Shit. Lumos. Is this? What's this? A game within a game? Ooh. Ooh. Knight to H3. Okay. Am I actually playing chess or am I fighting them? I see, okay. Nice. Those are red, which means I should avoid the red. Okay. Rebellion. So basically avoid the cracks. Wasn't too difficult. The chest up there. Oh goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. I am. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. I really like this guy. Rebellion. Next side, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, no. I've played one too many games to trust any freaking mannequins. Ow. Shut up. Let's see a chest in the wall over there. It's freaking DLC. Huh. I'm getting very much Silent Hill vibes here. Oh, I'm afraid of the dark. Does it worry you that I can see you, but you can't see me? Huh. It should. That yeah, doesn't really. Can I? Yeah. 
do this. No. Oh, hi. <laughs> hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. Fox don't want you getting too comfortable for what you're doing. Where's this thing? Ow! Hork! I was in here. I see. Okay. Might be pulling it across. Luckily, I don't have to jump. I don't think I need to do that. Alright, where's, where's the catch? A worthy playmate. Well done. I'm an airborne with the send Alright. They, they fight the kind of like um, in Fury. There we go. See, I'm thinking this is a poltergeist. If not, it's definitely a ghost. Lumos. Hmm. Are there any other doors? No. Lumos. Totally expect them behind me. Oh, the room changed. I keep thinking that I could do both either. There we go. Let this point out. I'm gonna get to the end of that hall. Goddamn. Guys. 
Here. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Now that's getting your attention. Dick! This has been fun. Much to do, much to do. See you in a bit. You're the slap me. I'm just cleaning up my shop. I don't know, I don't know what he's going on about. Cobwebs everywhere, man. Let's get you out. Wigan Wald. All right, do it. Endless. Ah, you've chosen the scholarly route. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. I, I love books, so. Oh, no. It's always good to have a different perspective on things. Agreed. Rebellio. No. So we're in a fun house. Yeah, this is a poltergeist, which means he isn't malicious, he's just mischievous. That's kind of the whole shtick with poltergeist. They're not, um, the spirits of people who died angry or anything like that. They are... Uh, the spirits born of mischievous intention. Lumos. I'm trying to do in here. See me up there. I'm back. I thought I also expect this place to be different. Oh shit. I'm stuck here. Alright. Okay, so that means I need to do something. Are the hits? Oop. Lumos. Excuse me, walls I can break or something. Oh, the doors look really good. Alright. So yep. much fun to be had. My head is spinning. How do I get that chest down there? Can't climb over the wall. Which means I'm assuming I'm gonna be heading down there. Yep. 
wall. Okay. There it is. Whoever designed this level, this DLC, the puzzle, they have quite a creative mind. Like this is straight up a funhouse thing, like the old um, amusement parks. I love it. Oh, that hurts my head, though. <laughs> Rebellion. Something hidden. All books and no play make one quite young. Wingardium Leviosa. Go. Rebellion. Lumos. Something over here. Rebellion. Quite a bit of something. Lumos. I don't see a way I can get over there. I'm assuming it's going to be part of the puzzle coming up. <laughs> See a mech in, they just like, you know, it's a, they start a blast. Fuck those things. Back in the basement. No, we're not. God damn it. We're not, we're not in the bit yet. You asshole. <laughs> you dick. Do you hit that thing? Oh no. One more run. Hmm. Running in circles, are we? Perhaps yep. you should retrace your steps. Yeah, I knew it. it. That's a classic trick. Shh! What was that? Lumos. <sighs> Lumos. That was a spider. Oh, now my Lumos is just barely a thing. Hold on. Yeah, now to the pattern. That's actually really cool. You know, this, uh, the, the robes, 
are kind of reminding me a little bit of uh, Immortal Phoenix Rising, with the um, the black armor with uh, the black blue armor with the uh, the wings wrapped around it. Why not? Oh, you have to intentionally do this. Alright. No. I'm just not gonna look. I know they're behind me. There they go. I don't want to do that. God damn it. Well, they'll clear up. They'll definitely clear up the place. As well, that. My cabbages. I know. Come on, dude. Oh, jeez. So what's the story? Or Wigan Wald, of course. Huh. Oh, that's ominous. Very good. Lovely. Aha! Finally! You, my inordinately clever friend, appear to have traversed this seemingly never ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. 
Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now and agree to give me unfettered access through the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursuant to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. You get your shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the game begin! I like him! He is such a freaking khaki. Alright. Oh, he's a troll. Yeah, he just he just reskin troll. Gotcha. And I know how to fight you. There we go. Just once, try seeing things from my point of view. Oh no. Oh, you dick. So that's the case, I was gonna cheat it. She's it. Oh, that hurt. Well, well, finally, someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about that contract. I am a poltergeist of my word. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract. With one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I love this. Heck, they would totally do that. It's like, hey, oh uh, yeah, I agree to your terms, but only after nine o'clock. Oh, that's great.
Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. Were you worried I might not return? Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <sighs> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased the shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. So, we were sold a shop, not told it had a poltergeist in it, despite them knowing there was one in it. Yeah, that's illegal shit. At least, you know, here in the States. Yeah, in the States, if you are, if you have a house that has been reportedly haunted, you have to disclose that. Period. Anything that would evolve, that would um, alter the property um, in any or the, the value of the property in any way whatsoever has to be disclosed. I never had this one. Huh. That's what I did. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah. Good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. I am perfectly capable of owning a shop. But more importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And according to the house elf that came with the shop, she's done this sort of thing before. Repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? I get it. She is running a scheme where basically she sells the shop knowing people are going to go crazy, regain the rights to it, just to sell it again. And she forbidden she forbade Penny from telling anyone of it because that would prevent her from getting money again and again and again. Oh. Oh, hello, Ruth. I see we've met my new tenant, Cassandra. It's my understanding that she sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now, they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. Uh, stop her. Okay. Luck is about. Big stuff, that. What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? I don't know. More than you, apparently. Than you learned. That was a combo. I should have known better than to do business with a wily student. Here the shield. Ow. There we go. Ah, uh, 
I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Checking that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Phony little regular elf! I should have known it was... Silencio. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. She never actually she never actually was planning on doing it, was she? Sign, uh, signing over the shop and everything to me. That's the reason why Penny was never able to talk. Was able to tell me, because she was still technically owned by... Cassandra. What an absolute bitch. Jeez. Hey, Penny. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh! Well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop, and Penny will take care of the rest. Interesting. Lester's in Venom, so clothing and leather. Cladwell and Brewster's clothing and drinks. Potions. Stitches and drops. It's basically the same thing over and over again. Um, hmm. Stitches and drops. Cloudwell and boots. That's just better. I don't know which one to pick. I kind of like that one. I, I, I like Cladwell and Brewster, too. I like them all. They're all really good. Um, hmm. Let's go... Let's go with Cladwell. I choose Cladwell and Brewster. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny, we'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. Probably a good idea. Nice. Alright. Oh, she's like that. It's cute. Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Um, yeah, here. Oh, Penny will fetch a good price for what you So it's literally sell. just a shop to sell things. She's selling them for us. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. Is there anything else? You have a qu- Oh, uh, that's not a question mark. That's something else.
Yeah. All right, that's awesome. And it's right here, too, uh, next to the fast travel. So I can go here whenever I need to, real quick. Nice. All right, let's head to um, the uh, room of requirement real quickly. Draw, uh, sell the, or uh, uh, identify this outfit. And then see what we have. What that outfit looks like. Ooh. Nice. Gear. So we got, what was it? Functions. Outfit. Show contact. Okay, so robe, hat, and underclothing. So we're going to make this invisible for now. That's a nice little coat. I like it. Ooh, I really like that undercoat. That underclothing. I'm gonna have that keep that keep that underneath my uh, usual thing. Honestly, it's not a half bad set. Let's put that on our relic. Yeah, that goes pretty well with it. Put that back on. We did get a new cobalt, I think. Look at this. Oh, that's old. Oh. It's my usual thing, but hmm. Let's stick with the shop thing for now. Alright, so that's going to be it for the set. We now have a shop that we can just go to sell things. Um, I was expecting a little bit more with that, but... Honestly, that's probably the best we can get out of that. It's just a shop that we can sell things to, which makes sense, honestly. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the set. Uh, th like I said before at the start of this, this was a DLC specifically for the PlayStation. Again, it's bullshit. Um, I'm fairly certain, though, that it's a time exclusivity, not a um, exclusivity in per in perpetuity, you know, in ter uh, forever. Um, I feel like it will be dropped on uh, other platforms later on, probably after a year, similar to what um, Skyrim did with the Dragonborn DLC, Dawn Guard, and all that stuff. To be fair, though, that was not really because of exclusivity. That was more because the hardware limitations. But that's besides the point. Uh, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the set. I'll see you guys next time when we'll continue from here. But until then, as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.